and you are not forgotten. And you have a voice. From PGA? Parliamentarian. Notably, we also strongly support a peaceful and uh, repatriation. I call upon my new home, Canada, to show its leadership in protecting and advancing human rights. And I call upon the leadership of the Netherlands, home to the International Court of Justice, to stand with us, the genocide survivors, including those in the very volatile situation in Rakhine State. And all my relatives are still there, by the way. I truly hope that Gambia won't stand alone within this. I hope that other countries would join in. And I truly, truly hope that this pursuit of justice for the Rohingya to be recognized for nothing beyond being humans, worthy of living. I hope that this is going to be a successful pursuit. Thank you. Thank you, Yasmin. And uh, um, one uh, further interview. We don't have any reason to get from the people. It is so important for us to, to feel like our pain is recognized because we've internalized our, our lives that we're not worthy. And so that's why it's such an emotional moment. But it also is important that, you know, the word genocide have been uttered so much within one, you know, one hour time. And, and we've, we've pushed so hard for it for such a long time. And finally, it is being heard.